Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Nico Pop, Chief Product Officer at Force Point. Welcome back. Let's do a quick recap, right? We, so far, we've talked about Joe at home and how the SASE is protecting Joe at home and enabling Joe to work. Let's review everything. Let's make sure it's clear. Remember, horseman number one, the bad guys, the threats, we took care of them. Swig as a service, firewall as a service, advanced malware detection, RBI. Okay, we stopped the bad guy. Great. That was horseman number one. Horseman number two, connectivity. We want Joe to be able to work from home. So we had this intelligent agent, right, steering the traffic to the cloud security gateway to access the SaaS application, all the private access, right? So for access, the second horseman, we had the CASB for SaaS application, and we had the Zero Trust Network access, the private access for private apps. Let's draw it right there. Okay, that's horseman number two, access. Third horseman, the data. Now we got data coming to Joe's home, we have DLP in the cloud for the cloud security gateway, and soon DLP in the cloud for the VPN replacement, the Zero Trust Network Access. And last but not least, you also want to protect the data when it's within Joe's home. You need the DLP agent. Remember how convenient that integrated agent is. You want a unified agent that can do all these things, not just traffic steering. You want it to be intelligent and a bit data-centric. All right, so if you look at that picture, you have a really, really, really good and comprehensive SASE solution. In fact, I think it's totally holistic. So we could have stopped there, but we didn't. Because we realized, you know, there's actually a fourth horseman, right? And that horseman is risk. I can do all these things. I can add all these layers of security, but still, I can't really answer the question, how is my workforce working from home how much risk does it represent now that that attack surface has increased tenfold? How much risk is there? How much threat risk? How much user risk? How much data risk still there? So now that unified endpoint is going to become handy because I'm going to add, I'm going to add a third blade. I'm going to add user monitoring. We call it DUP, dynamic user protection alongside the traffic steering and the data protection. And because now I can track and monitor the user so I can assess my risk and assess the trust that I have in the user, right? Um, to do that well, I'm gonna add a magic element also in the cloud. I'm gonna add behavioral analytics, okay? And these analytics will be fed both by or agent blade, as well as all the traffic that now we're seeing, right, the public internet traffic, the SaaS traffic, as well as the private traffic, right, the v VPN replacement traffic. Now I've got a full picture of the user, right? So in particular, I know maybe, you no, know, Joe is not really behaving like Joe. Maybe his credential had been stolen. That's not the real Joe. Maybe Joe was so much under stress that he has become an insider, right? Insider threat is on the rise. I will learn these things. So this is already powerful because now I can rescore my user, understand my threat level, and I can act on it, you know? Detection response, I can do all these things. But hey, why stop here? Why don't we go one step further? Why don't we go after the nirvana of security? Could we use the risk to actually drive the entire SASE? Now that's interesting thought. What if, what if we took the risk, right, and use it to drive all the control points in the cloud security gateway, all the control points in the private access? What does it mean? Well, I'll give you an example. If Joe is high risk, I'm going to send him to the remote browser isolation all the time, you know, because he's going to all these bad sites, he's risky, could be infected, that's okay. I'm going to send him to RBI, now I'm fully protected. Now oh, that's interesting. If Joe is trying to go to Office 65 and he's risky, maybe I won't let him share with external domain. Risk-driven CASB. If Joe is risky, I won't let him download confidential data home. Cloud DLP, adaptive, dynamic, 
human-centric DLP about a dynamic firewall. If Joe is trying to telnet or to RDP into Azure from home and is risky, we're not going to let that happen. Now we're driving the firewall based on risk. It's not stopped there. The VPN. If Joe is risky, certainly he should not access the ERP system that ASAP on-prem from home. So you see the, the value of the risk driving all the control points. What we're actually doing is we're writing automatically policy at the user level for each and every Joe in the world. We are customizing the policy based on risk. Now that nobody can do. We're doing it. And you know, DUP, the dynamic user protection, and user monitoring, insider threat as a service, first cloud native solution, born in the cloud, not ported to the cloud, coming very soon. And then driving the SASE, the first dynamic SASE, human-centric SASE. And that is very, very exciting. Thank you. Thank you for attention. And welcome to the better world of SASE and a secure remote workforce. Thank you.